Hey there, my name is Julian, and welcome to another Clockify tutorial. In this video, we will go over user roles in Clockify and what permissions are available for each, so you know how to best organize your team. User roles are organized into two main levels, organization level for all Cake.com members and product level for roles specific to Clockify. With your Cake.com account, you can use all Cake.com products, including Clockify, Pummel, and Playkey. You can invite all users with the same email address and then customize the roles per each product. Let's start with Cake.com roles. Cake.com account is a universal user account with which you and your team can access all Cake.com products, as well as workspaces on them. This means you can add users to multiple workspaces and products, and they can access everything with just one login. When you open the members page in your Cake.com account, you can see all the people in your organization across all workspaces, and you can review who has access to which product and workspace. Now, when it comes to roles and permissions, there is only one organization owner, and that person is also the workspace owner on all the workspaces within the organization. The owner can manage everything in the organization, including the deletion, editing, and creation of new workspaces. Whenever the owner creates a new workspace on Clockify, Pummel, or Plaky, that workspace will be linked to the organization. On the other hand, organization members can only access workspaces they're invited to. You can further manage the roles of organization members on each workspace separately. This means you can give one user an admin role on one workspace and have them as a regular user on another, or not invite them to a third one at all. When it comes to product level roles specific to Clockify, there are three possible roles a user can have, admin, team or project manager, or regular user. Let's dive deeper into each role. Admins have the highest level of access and control within Clockify. They are responsible for managing workspace settings, user permissions, and overall workspace administration. There are two types of administrative roles in Clockify, owners and admins. There can be only one owner, but there can be multiple admins. More specifically, the owner of the workspace is the owner of all workspaces within the organization and is the person that has all the rights to managing settings or establish a single sign-on for all members. Owners can also delete the entire workspace or if they want to leave or delete their account, transfer that ownership to another organization member. Unlike the owner whose role is automatically granted, the admin role must be assigned to users. The admin role is assigned on the Teams page by clicking on the Role button next to a user and assigning them a proper role. Admins are responsible for managing workspace settings, user permissions, and overall workspace administration. Admins have a range of capabilities, including assigning roles, editing subscription payment information, managing groups and projects, inviting users, defining billable rates, overseeing time entries, scheduling projects, and more. Admins are the ones who can appoint users as managers, who then have additional project and team management permissions. There are two types of manager roles in Clockify, project managers and team managers. These roles should also be assigned to appropriate team members by choosing a dedicated role next to their name on the team page. To assign someone as a project manager, choose this role for them on the team tab and select the projects they will be managing. Or select a specific project, go to the access tab, click on the three dots next to the person you want to assign as a project manager and choose give manager rights. In the same way, you can revoke someone's manager rights. 
Project managers can see all track time on their projects and can edit various aspects of their projects, such as set estimates, add tasks, manage project access, schedule their own projects and assignments, and if enabled, approve submitted timesheets from members assigned to their projects and launch kiosk. Team managers have a group of people they can manage. When assigning members as team managers, you can choose team members or groups they will manage by simply checking the tick box next to their names. To organize multiple people into one group, go to the team page and then go to the groups tab. Now simply type in a group name and then here in the access column select members who will be a part of that group. Now you'll be able to assign a team manager to that group of people with one click. Team managers have similar permissions but focus on overseeing their team members and groups. They can see all track time for their team members, approve time off for their team members, and if enabled, edit time for their team members, approve submitted timesheets for their team members, and launch kiosk. The role of a regular user does not have to be explicitly assigned. This role pertains to all invited users, or all users who are not granted admin or manager roles, nor are they the owner of a workspace. Regular users have various permissions and can perform certain actions, including time tracking, project creation, and analyzing their personal dashboards. Unless these pages are hidden from regular users, they can also access the team page, follow a project's progress on the projects page, and see reports. For specific permissions on what you can do, go to the permission settings. To get access to the permission settings, click on the menu on the upper left and choose workspace settings. Now go to the permissions tab where you can explore and manage which users can do what. There are multiple permission settings set on default, which can simply be overridden by checking a box or a circle next to the wanted option. The permissions tab also allows you to manage who will be able to create projects and clients, tasks, or tags, and what regular users will be able to see, like whether project status will be shown by only admins or to anyone, and you can even completely hide some of the pages for regular users. Depending on responsibility delegation in your team, you can set the approval of submitted timesheets to be done by admins and team managers who will approve timesheets and expenses for their team members, or admins and project managers who will be able to approve timesheets and expenses for their projects. Time and expenses can be edited only by admins or admins and team managers for easier timesheet management within their team. For easier assignment scheduling, make sure to allow the who can create assignments permissions for the right team roles, admins, admins and project managers, or anyone. Some of the permission settings won't be shown unless the feature related to them is enabled. For example, to manage who can see or edit billable status for entries, you first need to enable the Billable Hours feature. Once it's enabled, two new permission settings will show up and you can choose who will be able to see hourly rates and amounts, and who will be able to see or edit billable statuses of time entries and expenses. The same goes for kiosk launch settings. First enable the feature and then set who will have permission to launch it. Only admins, if you so choose, managers as well. When choosing who will be able to create and edit invoices for all projects, the default option is admins, 
but in case you also want specific members to have that permission, you will get the option to choose specific people or team groups. And that's everything for roles and permissions in Clockify. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and if you want to learn more about Clockify and its features, make sure to check out our other videos on our website or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.